Oh. Toku Sentai. <laughs> I think we're live now. Woo! Um, Henshin to a yeah. live audience. <laughs> I hope our audio is coming through uh, relatively clear. At least. And I as... hope it's not. <laughs> Are we recording this as well, like the video? Yeah. Okay. Uh, For future I... generations, we have to. Yeah. Yes. This is going in the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> Sending out copies to the Louvre, the Smithsonian. St. Petersburg, uh, just yeah. in general, <laughs> the city of St. Petersburg. That place in the Netherlands or wherever that has like every seed known to man in case like oh, the world Oh, dies. the Spalbard oh, Seed yeah. Bolt. Yeah. That's, uh, oh, yeah. We even sent a copy to them. They sent a rejection letter, but they didn't send back the DVD, so. <laughs> didn't even fly it there. It's just a little rowboat washed up <laughs> in Spalbard. Do you fancy me lobster no was the note we sent with it. I hope they got the reference. Like, how'd a boat get to the North fucking Pole? What is this? <laughs> it's an SD card in here. <laughs> this better not What's be up, porn again. Brody, oh, Brody's watching. Brody says, howdy. Oh, he says, howdy. howdy. Good day, cunt. Stop, fucker. <laughs> oh, that's not good. good day. <laughs> God, you moved the camera on me and it's howdy, throwing DJ. off the Oh, no. Oh, okay, Papa's so watching. Papa. It's working relatively well, at least, with my, my fairly shoddy webcam at a distance that doesn't want to focus. But... Us, on the other hand, we're going to call it a day. My webcam shit. <laughs> I know. I almost brought my one from work, and I didn't this time. Uh, I'm surprised my laptop has like a killer webcam. <laughs> <laughs> my built-in is not bad, but this one's kind of crap. Better than cameras. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, true. Just that's... like our wives. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I have to wait for like. Secret Santa gift exchanges to get shit from nice shit for my computer. <laughs> Strangers on Reddit will give you things. Well, for the last year though, apparently. I, yeah, that's the shit part. Uh, okay. Beanie day. Yes, it's beanie day at the ranch. Yep. Well, no, except for Cameron's a little spoil sport. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if I own a beanie. Every party needs. No, I bet I do. I have an ag hole. I have. Yeah. You. Should go get that. I have something. Cap. Yeah. My baseball cap. <laughs> yeah. Party. Uh, all right so we are live today for a uh and i'm told in living color special. yeah well <laughs> we'll have to fact check that though <laughs> i'm pretty sure we're all white here oh yeah I have to roll my sleeve up and check this time no we're good okay, yeah. <laughs> So we are here for episode uh 78 of the podcast episode 25 of beetleborg's metallics uh wolfie's wild ride Yes, but unlike Mr. Bones Wild Ride, this has an end. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not a great one, but it has one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Wolfie's it's... Wild Ride is real short for this whole episode. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a two minute segment in a 22 minute yeah. episode of TV. Wolfie walks on, does a little jig, walks off, is not seen again for the next 10 minutes, <laughs> comes back, does another one, but with a hat and some goggles. <laughs> And then disappears again, and then it's the end of the episode. <laughs> There's a lot of getting on and then getting right off screen for him. Yeah, consistently. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, jumping right into it, Wolfie getting on screen. Uh, the opening of the show is him walking in. Uh, we're in the, uh, like, entryway to Hillhurst. Wolfie foyer, walks up. If you will. The foyer. And he's got, like, a uh, remote control. He's still, still. I know. Well, to be fair, hey, this guy's barely a part of the podcast. So. Yeah, that's true. We didn't have Can't a we didn't have Warbell this episode, so I didn't I didn't get to I didn't get to flub up her name, flab I mean, up her name. God, like I know, I know. <laughs> Why do we pay you? <laughs> get the belt. Get the belt. <laughs> Just like a uh, Boondocks, a grandpa from Boondocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Wolby walks in. He's got a remote with an antenna. He pulls out big old keys on it. Hits a code in it, and a little one of the tiles in the uh, foyer pops open, and he picks up out of it the uh, cicada astral coin, the the lightning borg astral coin. Yeah, what they call it the the lightning coin. Yeah, the lightning coin, and he tries to eat it like a chocolate coin. For yeah, because no like at no first reason. you think, oh, maybe he's going to test its authenticity because he is a man of quality and a jeweler at heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no, like he's just slowly putting it further into his like <laughs> <gaping> <laughs> <maw>. <laughs> and then Fangula cuts in and is like, like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, like, no, 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 that's really important. Or no, Mums does. Yeah, Mums. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fangula pops. Sorry, in. the undead all look the same. Yeah, they they're both like. 
wait, this is really important to the kids. We can extort something out of them for yes. this. <laughs> it's so funny. He goes, stop. That's really important. We can get shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Step into my office. We'll go discuss this. That's that's why they left Transylvania and Egypt and all that because they're like, fuck these guys. Stupid like, commies. <laughs> they don't vote for their wallet, and like, gay people are allowed to get cakes. That's fucked up. <laughs> I just I didn't drew Bible camp. I did not bit. Bible camp. <laughs> Never a day in my life. So while this is all going on, the kids are biking through. I guess like downtown charterville i don't know yeah they're They're, biking their way downtown (laughs) oregon fast cycling they're like uh explaining they're recapping the last like three episodes they're They're expositioning yeah expositing themselves expositing uh talking about the astro expositing themselves all over to everyone (laughs) that's illegal in at least three states yeah oh well they are this is california oh yeah (laughs) yeah Yeah. they are children (laughs) That means everyone else gets arrested. That's true. <laughs> California in ninety six. When was uh, when was Arnie <laughs> in charge of California? Not ninety six. Uh, that's or ninety eight. He was doing Terminator two then, wasn't he? I think so. Uh, it was his campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I he came just, back. He just did Terminator two, and then stood in front of a pew or pulpit or whatever. Pew. Just fucking pew. <laughs> stood in front of Sit a pulpit. Sit in front of me. <laughs> played, played the movie. And was like, vote for me. <laughs> and I he mean, won. he won. <laughs> Not inaccurate. Yeah. Worked for Reagan. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but at least we're getting that trickle down economics, right? It, <laughs> <laughs> it panned out. So, <laughs> focus out. <laughs> yeah, focus on Ryan as soon as he turned. <laughs> Reaganomics! So, <that's> amazing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, the kids are talking about the astral sword and the coins and all this and the mantrons. And uh, as basically, soon as they... it's bad if they get them. Yeah. Yes. And we need to not have them get them. Yeah. And dead ahead of them is Vylor uh, digging. Like, he's, like, got he's a salt buckets of lettuce or, ve- like, veggies. And it looks like... like the stuff, the restaurant or orcateurs or- or- that he's assaulting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're live. I need to be fancy. <laughs> <We're Disney. laughs> Yes, they're Imagineers. <laughs> flap, flap, a, a flab and damn it, damn it. Can we cut? <laughs> this, we're not live. Right? Take it from the top. Take it from. The we top. didn't even introduce ourselves at the top of the episode. You whore. Oh, it's because yeah, it's because we're live and I get the jig. They don't know who we are. I'm Cam. I'm Nick. And. Uh, He's angry. <laughs> and Ryan's on sabbatical, honey. <laughs> We're the big man. You if you know, you know. <laughs> Hello, my honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Vylor is violating all of these restaurant workers. And they've got, like, chef hats, but they're, like, dumping trash in a dumpster. He's throwing yeah. vegetable scraps on them. And so they did in Ratatouille. Yeah. <laughs> It's not well, as like, we learned, there are multiple levels of, of a chef. First, uh, you just have like you know your basic chef, and then you have your super chef, and then you have your super chef too. And mm-hmm. then this is what it's like to go beyond super <laughs> chef, right? Like, but then this is to go even further beyond. You got super chef three, right? They're allowed to use the air fryers, yeah. Ultra Kwasinski. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that uh who oh fuck who is the guy that died that cooked for presidents um, Bourdain yeah that guy um oh, I heard right? Anthony Bourdain he yeah away, yeah he killed himself yeah like three years ago yeah I think so. something like that um yeah that sucked he uh I heard that he achieved um super chef God super chef Jesus cricket agrees yeah <laughs> God I hope that's picked up I, yeah, I have no hey idea. we have a live audience they can tell us in real time <laughs> tell us at home folks can, can, can you, you hear the curious cat feeling? screaming the sewer rat if this had been a cat making its calls it perfect oh yeah uh so not yeah, everyone uh, can be a fire cat the the kids are like uh, I think like Joe immediately is like we should borg and beat the shit out of this guy uh but no you know, like Drew goes no 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 somebody could see us yeah, like, which there's nobody around except for the people getting assaulted, and they're quite busy with the whole lettuce yeah. in their face situation. And yeah. I mean, 
they might not give a shit. Like they've also bored just out on the street in the middle of these terrorist attacks plenty of times that it's like it's kind of like the, uh, on the news. like the MCU <laughs> treats uh, secret identities. Like if they even happen at all, which is a rarity, which is a good thing. Like you know, it's it's kind of the natural progression of superheroes is mm-hmm. losing that secret identity aspect. But for mm-hmm. Spider Man, like you know, that's always in the comics. It's always been like a pretty integral part. And as uh, uh, we are uh, told from the No Way Home trailers, it's going to be a plot point in this one too. <laughs> Um, it's a good way mm-hmm. to snag that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He said mm-hmm. as if he hadn't already seen it <laughs> a couple of times. Um, or if you've seen the um, after credits for Far From Home as well. No, yeah. 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 That's, that's Which I just watched for the, the less... first time on Monday. Right. There's the less spoilery. But you still haven't seen the second Amazing Spider-Man. No, yet. I've seen the first one of that. Okay. I saw that forever ago. Which I... it's, so it's, it's not a, like, I really like it. I really like every Spider-Man movie that's ever come out. Partly because I'm a huge Spider-Man fanboy, like he's my favorite ever. But mm. uh, like, I really like Andrew Garfield's take on him. I think the second one like captures a lot of iconic Spider-Man stuff. Um, so I except for like it. Green Goblin, it kind of gobbles that up. Yeah, but then again, I mean, this I, so it, Green Goblin had already been done so yeah, well. Yeah, whenever you have Willem Dafoe, yeah. just take a role and run with it. You can't exactly you really follow didn't, that. Didn't up. even no. need to do. That's like. All right, you just had oh. Jimmy Page, Eric Clapton, and a resurrected Jimi Hendrix give you a three-person <laughs> guitar solo for three hours. And to follow this up, Jim from Down the Block. <laughs> <laughs> up next, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Speaking of disappointing decisions, right. uh, the kids decide to use their like uh, leftover powers, their, their side powers, uh, instead of Borging. Yeah. And it's like, that's not less conspicuous. That's more- yeah, that's... because at least the entire time they're transformed, like it's you just the moment of transformation you have, you have that's what you gotta worry about. Yeah. They could have hidden behind that damn dumpster and done yeah. it. But no, they're like, all right, so Roland spends at least five seconds zooming, Joe spends like five seconds pushing. Joe or Drew, you can't really like pin anything on because his are less hands-on. Or maybe Vylor flew for 10 seconds. Yeah, but either way, like there's this giant monster and three kids. Like cops are getting called regardless, and no one's gonna believe them regardless. Well, <laughs> yeah. Although they have been on the news, but it's really wishy-washy on like what sticks as uh, notable public knowledge in this show or not. <laughs> yeah, it's painfully unclear. Mm-hmm. We've got it in the chat. What is this? This yeah. is the Big Bad Beetle Bros. We don't normally do uh, live uh, episodes Whoa. through Project Router, <laughs> but we are today. So we are discussing episode 25. And why are we doing a live episode? Beetleboards. Uh, because it's so Crimin's time. It's Crimin's time. Uh, <laughs> So uh, a handful of reasons. One, we didn't record over the weekend because I was doing Christmas stuff with it's Crimin's my, time. my family. I know. Uh, this guy's a family. <laughs> we have Christmas again this coming weekend. So recording may or may not happen. Yeah, every time uh, Santa Claus gets in the vicinity of our recording equipment, it gets like this weird. Oh, this like, coming oh, weekend, I will be out of uh, <laughs> Things. I mean, we have just... Record it like in your car. <laughs> like well, don't see up. the episode. Roll all the windows just, down. We'll give you the title and like a couple of sentences of synopsis, and we'll be like, "All right, so in this Got episode, <laughs> and we'll Mount just like it, use figure the out where to cut." Oh, actually, I guess TJ will figure out where to cut that in. Mm. Yeah, it's his yeah. problem now. I'm gonna see oh. if you turn the oh turn my monitor. So oh, that you guys oh no, see oh. that's that I me. I don't Ew. like that at all. What are those two blobs on the other side of the desk from you, Cameron? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> See, I don't know if you guys can actually like read the chat from that or not. I don't want to. Plug oh, my... I can definitely not read the chat. Okay, I didn't think so. I can't. I don't. I can't plug my monitor. <laughs> and you're the one of us that monitors, doesn't have glasses. So... <laughs> I know. Although I probably <laughs> he need probably them. needs them. Most people do. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's it's getting worse, especially with my job. Uh, like the longer I do it, the worse it's gonna get because yeah. like it inherently like strengthens one eye and weakens one eye. So it's like I'm just perpetually imbalancing my yeah <laughs> eyesight further and further uh so real quick for uh uh right. boss tour uh what we normally do is um they asked if we normally do like movie reviews or something what we normally do is uh, we just record a a pre-recorded podcast and what we've done is for the last two years we've started watching or we've been watching the big bad beetleborgs television show from the 90s from 96 to 98 uh, and we every week we watch an episode. Well, roughly every week yeah. we watch an episode, and then we talk about it. We also lie. 
<laughs> we lie often. <laughs> uh, and we do other stuff. We we've interviewed a couple people who've worked on the show. We that's our main claim to fame. Yeah, yeah. We interviewed one of the the director who directed the most episodes of the show. Uh, one of the um prop. Uh, well, he was the VFX. Uh, he was the VFX. Yeah, he was a VFX. Yeah, artist. VFX. He was the artist. guy leading the uh, like whole thing. Yeah, he was like one of the VFX directors. Yeah. Um, we we've been in uh talk contact with a couple of the actors yeah mm -hmm. um, um they're a little harder to nail down schedule wise for episodes right. but that's what a lot we of them normally do yeah yeah uh so that's that's what we normally do um and i mean we're still doing that now we're just doing it live uh we may start doing more of this stuff uh kind of as Which, it comes and goes because we're kind we're of getting to the end yeah oh yeah we, we've got like i think yeah, yeah. 14 13 or 14 episodes left so, Which means about five or six years. <laughs> yeah, at our rate. So uh, yeah, beyond forever. <laughs> as we uh, as we gear towards the finale, we'll probably start switching up the format a little bit and kind of have some fun with it. So eh, that's part of what this was. I just wanted to kind of try out the live format. We've not really done it before, unless it was something for uh, for TJ, like when we did the pod swap pod episodes, swap, right. stuff yeah. like that. And and we've both been guests on like let's talk Toku or whatever. We did yeah. So we, yeah, we we've, we've popped on live stream stuff before for other shows and for other things in project louder network but we've not done it for ourselves yeah. really um and we'll probably start doing that more for both through project louder and through our own youtube um we're gonna we're kind of swapping up how our youtube is gonna function uh but if you want to see yes seriously fucking niche is, is <laughs> yeah that should be our tagline yeah. <laughs> on, uh, Absolutely, on the 100%. podcast we're, we're gonna quote you on that that's gonna be in like you know they have like you know get this game has great graphics signed ign this one played like a game <laughs> IGN. i don't remember it this was comments. a podcast yeah <laughs> yeah super fucking super niche. fucking niche i mean it to prove that point i am in the dating world and i have switched jobs i've met a lot of new people in the past few years uh, since we've started this, and not yeah. a single person knows the show that we do this about. Mm -hmm. No one knows Beetleboards. No one's heard of this. Um, we still hit top 100 ratings for Canada, TV show reviews sure. in Canada and, and top 200 uh, in the U.S. sometimes. So it's uh, it's wild, yeah. but yeah, it works for somebody, yeah. <laughs> which exactly. is fine. We have kind of a, a, a like a dedicated fan base, which I think Beetleborgs in general does. And we have a huge overlap with that. And so. I think the main thing is like with the, the few members that there are of that fan base, they're really strong members of the fan yeah. base. They're not just like, they've been in it for a long time and they're yeah, sticking with it. They've um, got an almost uh, vehement uh, loyalty yeah. to it, which are, I, some of our criticisms don't always fly over too well with some of the yeah, More that's rose tinted glasses crowd. But. I think that's a big thing with shows that were like childhood shows that got canceled or ended. Because yeah. like Power Rangers has a big fan base, but it's very like there's people who are just casual Power Rangers fans. There's not a lot of people who are just like casually a fan of Beetleborgs. It's like if you're yeah, a Beetleborgs fan, least you're a Beetleborgs. Everybody's yeah. heard of Power Rangers. Yeah. They can at least be like, oh yeah, like I have a niece or nephew or something that's like, or like I remember that as a kid. I don't remember anything about it. Just remember mm -hmm. it like nobody like if you show it to them they might be like ah, yeah, maybe. yeah fuck even in the podcast you're the only one with a really strong memory i just had a couple of toys like... and mine's from hand-me-downs yeah uh, my, mine's from like garage sale finds of my parents and hand-me-downs from my older siblings so yeah it's it's niche even for us right <laughs> technically and we're kind of niche guys yeah we're niche guys um i'm a I'm niche, a niche guy, guy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Duh. so yeah the kids throw vylor into the uh really? into the garbage can and when vylor gets back to the uh, his catacombs hideout he is covered in garbage all over he didn't yeah, wipe himself down kind of Chinese take out boxes all over stuck <laughs> on his head yeah his paper stuck in his uh chitin yeah and the mantrons, the, the evil mantrons, are just making fun of him, like giving him a hard time. On business. <laughs> yeah. Great. And like, it's nice to see the mantrons just hanging out in the catacombs, like any other villain. Uh, like mm -hmm. they're not they're not monsters of the week. They are like the new generals yeah. of for Nucus. I heard and, that's actually where that '70s show got the idea for the circle <laughs> down in the basement. Was I, from those scenes. The mantrons yeah, sitting so. around stoned. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> around a coffee table well, it was 420 so you know you gotta kind of it was, it was 420. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there in a minute yeah. oh my god uh, so yeah the man oh, mantrons so are making fun of vylor vylor is kind of getting fed up this is very similar to in season one how the uh 
uh, Magnivores reacted to Shadowborn coming in. Oh, yeah, they were pissed. Mantrons are, are like, we're visibly replaced, better. Man, this sucks. Man. Yeah. Uh, so Vylor's starting to get fed up. We saw Horabel last week, but she's not popped up. I don't think we see her at all this episode. You're uh, right. I think because uh, no, I thought we did, but we see the Mantron, other one. It's Vylor Mantics. And then Mantics. Yeah. Mantics. Um, uh, call your doctor before, or ask your doctor about Mantrix. About Mantrix. Uh, Mantrix and Malavex. Uh, <laughs> do not take them together. You still, won't get still gotta get stool. still gotta get that pill bottle design or something for Malavex. I, I keep thinking about that. See, see, I'm good at it's, birds. I, I can know. do birds, so I should really try to give him like a he's good shot. A bird. His head's at least a bird, which yeah. I can work with. The wings aren't even bird wings; they're like the faux dragon bat wing things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Mantrons are giving Vilor a hard time, and uh, he's like, "I'm gonna get back at these motherfuckers." I'm going to figure out how to do it. And we cut over to zoom comics. The kids are walking in and they're like, Oh damn. I wonder what the mantrons are up to. And mm. uh, 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 Joe's watch like beeps. And <laughs> Drew's like, yeah, her Tamagotchi died. <laughs> Drew's like, Joe, your, your watch is beeping. She's like, it's not digital. And she looks at it and it's a little pink, like hello. Yeah. Kitty that watch. <laughs> Why would that not make her look at it faster? <laughs> <laughs> but that's nothing, obviously, because it's not digital. So. <laughs> no, it's, I just have a mole on my wrist that sings once in a while. It's the way it's Susan Boyle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it's got Flabber's face on it, and he is te <laughs> he's telling the kids because it's a, a, a clock face. Yeah, and he's telling the kids like, "Hey, uh, Wolfgang has the." uh lightning astral coin and he's not going to give it to anybody you got to come over here uh fangula is representing him so you've got to come <laughs> discuss with fangula they have a full on arbitration yeah, yeah. On. we noted well uh, i to take all of the credit yes um well i, I think I, I made a joke about it being like 420 like that was flabber's message yeah. and then we and looked showed the watch. watch again it was 420 yeah, no because he goes uh whenever he popped up he said what time is it Flab time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. before he said flab time, you went, I don't know, 420. And then it <laughs> popped back up and you went, oh my God, it is. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah. Right, so, Rick, if up. you're watching, which obviously you are, <laughs> sorry if you're listening. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since Gotta get it right. Make yeah, sure. We don't have viewers this time. Not <laughs> yeah. like usually. Only listeners. Uh, uh, you got a lot of snow if that was an intentional <laughs> nod to the. Uh, the college bias. kids go. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, we whenever we talked to some of the uh, people with the show, they knew after a certain point that their uh, audience was not yeah, of the their, intended. Their demographic was more audience. of the daytime stoned college student type yeah. and less of the su Saturday morning cartoon kid type. Which maybe explains why nobody we know knows about it. <laughs> yeah, it's and maybe explains why anybody who should know doesn't know about doesn't it. Doesn't remember it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like how it took me a long time to remember all the episodes of Aqua Teen, <laughs> and even now I'm like, fuck, I can remember <laughs> two specific episodes of Aqua Teen. Hunger I Wars. <laughs> I remember so much. <laughs> I remember bits and pieces. Like Teen. I remember jokes throughout like the years of the show. I, wa I watched like, it really the Christmas past future robot, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's a classic. Um, and then that weird spider dude that was a serial killer that lived in their yep. attic. <laughs> yep. That's how I Juice! <laughs> that's how I felt ki about King of the Hill until Katie and I rewatched it. Because oh, I yeah. like I had like vague memories of single jokes. But see, like it was too dry for me as a kid, but when I went back and watched it when I was like 18, I fucking loved it. I was <laughs> so happy to be able to follow that show like in real time yeah. as it progressed. Like that getting to see the finale of King of the Hill when it aired is like it's right up there with like the what we thought was gonna be the last episode of Scrubs and then the actual last episode of Scrubs. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's I'm trying to think of, of a show that ended that while I was watching the full thing as it was airing. I can't think of a I mean technically the though this is this is relevant. Technically, the potentially last ever television aired episode of Power Rangers aired this past weekend. What? Because their deal with Nickelodeon died, like ended, and they're going full time onto Netflix. So oh. like new episodes air weekly on Netflix like they would on television. 
That'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, they cut <laughs> the deal with they, or they got rid of their deal with Nickelodeon. So there's no more like Power Rangers. Current seasons <laughs> are not going to air on actual television anymore. Yeah, They're going to air have on the fucking Netflix. poster. Uh, who the made movie the Power poster? Ranger movie? Um, the like kind of was, darker. Oh, Lions Stanley Gate. Kubrick, the 2017 one. <laughs> yeah, Lionsgate. Um, uh, I think. So or Le- yeah, Lionsgate. Did, uh, or either of them are legendary, but I think it was Lionsgate. Do you think they're going to turn more like that, or do you think they're going to turn more childish? I think they'll do multiple. I think they'll do movies that are more like MCU adjacent, like the 2017 movie. And then I think they'll keep the TV show going the exact same way that it's gone. That would be awesome. But I think they'll do more American footage because it's Hasbro. Well, it's and they so much easier to, to do that now. <laughs> yeah. Like, it makes sense back then. <laughs> well, Whenever and, it's like you had an old ass suit that might yeah. not stand and up it's, to filming. It's Hasbro, so there's a lot of talk <laughs> about... I just touched a bag. No, it, it just looked like you startled yourself. I did. I didn't realize like, yeah. I was within <laughs> groping it, distance. I looked over distance. and I saw you go... It looked like you purposely looked down and went, oh. <laughs> and I was like, what are you fucking doing? There, there's a lot of talk about them doing animated stuff because oh. it's Hasbro. So, like, that's, you know, they do, it's Hasbro. They basically just do animation and live action movies. Of all of the things that have turned to more animation stuff, like Star Wars, which, I mean, that never went on stuff, but like, like Power Rangers, like Sentai stuff, like the things that have always relied on another thing, like, I'm surprised there hasn't been. There's really not a lot of animated. I mean, until we got the the Gridman anime and the Ultraman anime, there really hadn't been a lot of anime adaptations of Toku things. Like Transformers it's, it's, is the closest the, you'd get. Yeah, really. like the last five years have seen Godzilla get multiple animes, Ultraman get a well an anime and a new one coming up, mm-hmm. and Gridman's gotten two, Gridman and, and Dinazenon, and then and they're getting a movie. Uh, there's a Kamen Rider double anime an adaptation of the manga version coming up which and, those characters do work very well yeah and that, i think like there's like a anime decade too. or something else that oh. another common writer that they're doing an adaptation of and then maybe like go kaiger one of the big anniversary seasons of sentai okay. so it's like the last five or five or ten years they've started doing animation versions of these things so it it's not just Power Rangers that's missed the ball on this. It's like all of <laughs> live action Toku who has, yeah. has kind of like waited until the like current generation to start doing this. I mean, honestly, I think if like specifically the Tokus had not decided to make that change around, what was that like the Heise, Heisei era where they got all like super toyetic f- family yeah. friendly and childish <laughs> around mid Heisei. Yeah. yeah. The like Neo um, Heisei yeah. era. I, I think if they hadn't have done that, they probably would have kept up better because that's like more of a challenging market. Yeah, that's like probably kids true. stuff is easy. Like you, you just, you have a plug and play formula with child stuff, but like whenever you got how got to have those more like intricate storylines like oh hey this person thinks that they're actually one of the bug monsters they swore their life to kill maybe they're not but also maybe they are but maybe it's actually their sister but maybe it isn't like it, i don't know it, it can get so much more wild whenever you introduce things like consequences and death yeah, <laughs> yeah. and i i don't i don't know how far power angels do Power Rangers will go down that road, but I think there's the opportunity there, right? Because they have the the like head of Hasbro that's taking over that division has said they're going Bob to Iger. do. <laughs> <laughs> no, would you be surprised? No. Disney owned Power Rangers for a few years and they dropped it because they didn't care. Uh, it turns out those seasons were some of the best still because it's still fucking Disney. Right. Uh, so Tur- turns out monopolies are good. <laughs> Um, speaking of consequences of yeah, death. Speaking of consequences of death, <laughs> um, Vylor shows back up and he like picks up uh, less fortunes. And he's like, cartoonist. He holds him like a foot on, off the air. In yeah. the air. Make me better. <laughs> <laughs> Make me better. Like, you know, yeah. sign me up for therapy. I've heard better help is a really good app that I don't have to go in office for. Paid me like one of your French girls. And- <laughs> <laughs> rips off his like armor to review just like C cups. <laughs> and, damn. <laughs> uh so yeah, he's asking for an upgrade and uh uh Les starts drawing like sketches like anything's possible with a number two pencil and starts what, rapidly well, sketching. What you know, they don't car- tell charcoal, him but... is that just because they have the item, the upgrade, 
they still got to trade him for the evolution to take place. Mm-hmm. He's got to hold the upgrade and trade it, or else you won't evolve into Porygon. I mean, water types. <laughs> uh, so back at Hillhurst, uh, Flabber like turns the uh, like dining room area into a conference table. And yeah, it's it's yeah. full on uh, like twelve angry men litigation. <laughs> it's the, yeah, it's the jury deliberation, like yeah. straight up. <laughs> it looks like a divorce proceeding. Yeah, <laughs> Fangula walks in. He's got his hair slicked back. He's in a like a suit and tie. Ray Liotta as Fangula yeah. walks yeah. in. He's on <laughs> he's on a cell phone, like a nineteen ninety eight like flip giant antenna it's cell a phone. Big it's a roll of brick. Phone. It's a mobile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the next evolution from a bag phone. Mark and he's my like, words. Sorry. I was on a conference call with Transylvania and I just kept telling him, show me the blood, show me the blood. So Jerry Maguire's topical <laughs> came out two years before this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, the kids are like, okay, what is this about? Wolf- Wolfie, we need the coin. Just give us the coin. And thing- <laughs> things like, like I'm not a Khajiit. <laughs> and- <laughs> yeah. Things like no, I no, don't no. care about your coin. I have no fucking wares. <laughs> I miss the part where that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, no, no, no. Uh, you can have the coin if you do something for Wolfie. Uh, Wolfgang is a warrior. He needs to be in battle. So he would like to go into battle w- alongside you guys next time you go. And then he'll give you the coin. And the, guy, the kids Chaperone are like, him. no. <laughs> it's like, why not? Right. He, yeah. he tried to Let fight Lucas when he first showed up. He tried to fight Shadowborg. This is not the first he's time he's done it. He's one of two it. characters in the show that originated, like, the show started with them being outside to begin with. Like, being on yeah. their own, doing he's been their around. own shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's one of the he's only their ones. their ex-roommate. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's him and Little Ghoul are Andrew, the only ones who ever actually fight removed. anything. And so... That that's the back of oop, I smacked oh my oh TJ did you see that did you fucking see that not us not not I not I that's punching the mic I almost did on him I was watching earlier earlier I I moved my can past and it brushed past and I went that's on film. <laughs> Uh, God damn it! No, I'm the good sp- one. <laughs> yes, you've done good this time. I don't uh, put so, it in my mouth ever. <laughs> um, yeah, Wolfie wants to get what he deserves in exchange for this coin. And while this is all happening, Vylor gets his upgrade. Uh, cartoonist Les goes and gets wow. racist. So much. <laughs> Your cartoonists look the same to me. <laughs> I draw cartoons. Are you going to call me a name, Greg? <laughs> Stan Lee. Yeah. It's so nice to me. Excelsior. <laughs> Am I in Mall Rats? <laughs> Are you Jason Lee? <laughs> you like a chocolate yeah. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Michael Seriously, Rooker that guy did not need Mike. to lick his fingers that much in that scene. <laughs> Best mm-hmm. Michael Rooker performance ever. <laughs> of all time. He was in anything else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Les is holding up a sketch of a, a upgraded version of Vylor. And Nuke is like, okay, Super Vylor, arise! <laughs> Vylor gets armor-ish. Like, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll see pronounced- your damage Amish? resistance is up by... 10. Like, this is just like the laziest yeah. DM of all time. You, no, you get this. Uh, well, yeah, uh, armor resistance is definitely the D&D accurate term. Definitely not uh, armor class. Um, I'll see yeah, if I can find a picture AC at least for gets you guys like to... a plus one, but he gets like covered in plate steel. Like, yeah, this makes sense. Okay. I'll see if there's a picture for at least you guys to see. I bet there's not so mega oh. high lore. Oh, oh fuck. Spoilers! Yeah, apparently. Wait, Spider-Man's a character? <laughs> I Wario's love, in this. <laughs> I love all the... Uh, maybe there's... Maybe on the B-Fighter. Deep fighter. Sea Fishman Dezel. Oh, oh, have we I, never seen his uh, B-Fighter name? Well, I loved him in... Uh, the second movie son of with Melzar. Ryan Reynolds, where they like, oh. protected the president. Oh, or... here we go. Here we go. Here is the... Um, I think, I think, I think Denzel was the president and Ryan Reynolds was like the, the bodyguard. No, that's that's the rock. Or... Okay, so that is Denzel Washington. 
Yeah, That's Denzel okay. Washington and Ryan Reynolds were in a movie, I swear to God. I guess I do have <laughs> the power of the sun in the palm of my hands. I can, I'm going to make as many Spider-Man I thought references Denzel as Washington possible. played the president in um, Olympus Has Fallen. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yes, he did. Okay. I think, as far as I... Because there's one of... It's Olympus Has Fallen, that's when the White House gets taken over by the terrorists or whatever. And then there's another one that's named something else, and I think it's uh, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, and that was Gerard Butler and Aaron Eckhart. That's not even... Oh, that's Morgan, that's Morgan Freeman. Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm going to... I can hear Samuel Jackson right now. I we I... don't all look alike! I am not Lawrence Fishburne! I think I'm sharing... <laughs> that's what I get for just trusting you on that and being like, I yeah, I don't have right. to look right. at all of the You're names. Right. You're right. <laughs> I think I'm sharing my screen, but I might not be. I'm not sure. Um, either way... Uh, okay, uh, Ryan, do you want to describe this? Is the uh, this is the concept art for uh, pointy bones? All right, so super Vilor. more king of Atlantis and uh, Poseidon, fucker of Aaron, uh, decided to make a baby, and they were like, you know what, dead man's chest didn't do it well enough, those guys were just like kind of half fishy. This guy needs to go full fishy, so it's like we already knew Vilor, right? Like, he had the the kind of angel fish, angel fish esque, um, nice like name. fins. Yeah, <laughs> angel fisk, mayor of New York. It's the new comic coming out for Marvel. Buy it now. Um, <laughs> you laugh, but that just got me twenty percent off my Marvel Unlimited subscription. Uh, <laughs> But you know, That's his... our sponsorship. <laughs> you personally get twenty percent off your Marvel. Yeah, they they gave it. <laughs> they they offered it to me because I gave him a one star rating and still do because the app still sucks ass. <laughs> but his uh, uh his pointy features are more extended. I think his shoulders get more barnacly. They got like spikes coming out of them now. He's got um, like flagella under his shoulder pauldrons a little bit. Like yeah, and. <laughs> He, he comes with a trident. So King Triton here, like, he's about to be pissed about Ariel lusting after this guy <laughs> she saw from a distance for 0. 0.2 seconds. Um, but Daddy, I love him. Right. And so I know it's not specific to the form, but just because we got, like, some more Japanese footage this episode, but it also yeah. shows up better in the uh, uh, art here uh, that I'm looking at. His uh, like beta fins are like a lot wow. more colorful at the ends. Like he's just got a lot more like color to him. Yeah. Um. Although the uh, dark black and or the dark reds and black kind of like they almost uh, well turquoisey. They remind me of like some native designs. I like that, but obviously that's not their intention. Um. But uh, he uh, his left arm has it always had that like eel snake thing on it. He's been working it out. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's. I thought that was this. new because a lot. It's a lot of stuff on the upper torso, and it looks like a specific that's... fish, like a relicanth or something. But that it looks like something more predatory. It looks like a lantern fish without the lantern. I wonder. Um, let me see if it a says fish? in the B fighter <laughs> what um, what his. Oh yeah, they're all derived from some sort of uh, petrified semen. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope you're still um, sharing your screen so they're just looking at the fucking Wikipedia. I, no. <laughs> well, I'm sharing my screen, but it's not that. It's it's on my laptop, so it's just the concept art of the... Uh, mm -hmm. It's just the concept art.
tits. <laughs> <laughs> I am a pimp named Vylor. <laughs> so, uh, after Nukas says, Vi Super Vylor, arise! Vylor goes, you can call me Super Vylor. Like, no shit, no, Sherlock. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Fuck you. One, no. You're fired. Two, stop. <laughs> <laughs> And that's your 79th HR complaint See, this it, year. And he holds his right <laughs> up and he just goes, I am awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I am God. <laughs> Imagine he, man, you know, you know, by the power of Grace School, I am radical. <laughs> and he totally he, jugular. He walks past Which actually him. he's part of the bourgeoisie, so he's not radical at all. It's true. Like that. <laughs> He walks past the Mantrons Moderate. and he goes, step out of the way, woman-trons. And uh, very misogynistic of him. Like, yeah, that's right. We're canceling Vylor, the <laughs> villain. <laughs> to Twitter! <laughs> I'm going to dox the shit out of this guy. <laughs> what pond do you sleep in? <laughs> Bitcoin wallet. <laughs> run, run his pockets. <laughs> Turns out he's got his own cryptocurrency and he's like a multi billionaire rivaling Bezos. Filecoin. Filecoin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back at Hillhurst, Flabber is like, I got an idea for what Wolfie really wants. And he pulls, summons a plate full of, of large, succulent bones. <laughs> Has the kids pass them down to Big Wolfie man. and sniff them. And he's oh, like, no, yeah, that's not um, what I want. Maybe, maybe don't talk about kids sniffing bones. No, Wolfie snips and the kids just pass it along. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't make it better. Yeah, the kids uh, do not touch the bones at all. I don't think so. Uh, my cat agrees. <laughs> Cricket's got to make sure. I think that's a disagreement from the vehement. She's like, I saw that shit. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, then uh, Roland goes, oh, no, he just needs some dog treats. So he zooms away well he specifically yeah. says like succulent he runs off treats. he gets yeah. him a few speed he gives balls him a weird adjective that made me uncomfortable yeah comes back with just a handful of dog like a, a box a bag. Of, of, yeah no, a speed box balls. bag of, it's of dog treats it's a it's a whole scooby snack size yeah uh flapper goes if i was a werewolf these are what i would eat eats a handful vomits them onto the table uh wolfie is like drooling but, but it looks like drool. sand yeah it it's yellow. It looks like wet sand. Like, like Gara of the one, uh, hidden sand village yeah. is just like, oh, I'm about to kill you. But <laughs> so viscous. Yeah, it's not. I don't like yeah. it at all. I didn't like it at all. No, that, it was gross. Um, so, yeah. It's like, I mean, what if they tried down. to have a more drooly effect, but it just came out looking like splooge every time? It's entirely possible. They had like a practical effect, but it was just like that doesn't just work. Just KY jelly, like <laughs> in the in. All right, shove this Vaseline in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bite the capsule, Wolfie. Now, now. <laughs> ah. So, uh, while this is all going on, the uh, Mantrons and Super Vilor are sneaking around the outside of Hillhurst, and they're gonna break in. So the Mantrons just go through Leave the front the door, but do. Super Vilor is like, "Fuck that noise." and goes over to the cellar door and sneaks downstairs. He's like, I'll show them how to steal an astral sword. Yeah, uh, which he's in so the funny. Thieves Guild. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the special uh, 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 armor set now. Yeah. He's got the Guildmaster the, armor and the, the Nightingale boots. Nightingale, yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, so Fangula sees this all happening, and he goes, uh, I'm yep, fuck out of here, and turns into a bat and bursts out the front window. He smashes yeah. out the front window into the sunlight direct yeah. sunlight <laughs> like it's clearly daytime and so it's to be assumed that that's not part of his mythos maybe garlic's cool for him too then yeah maybe, maybe he doesn't even need to drink blood where do we draw the line it's very I unclear i can of very grumpy tonight she's telling us where to draw the line uh, yeah. yeah i know she was like you said keep it to an hour you fuck it's been an hour 44 minutes I've got a timer on here. You calm down, little missy. I thought you said pussy. Adjust your clock. I, that, I mean, accurate. Um, so, you bitch. <laughs> it's not a dog. <laughs> She's in the other room. I mean, normally Dennis is the one calling Dia bitch. <laughs> Goddamn bitch. 
So the kids finally summon their data bonders and transform because now is the time to do it. Yes. Right. Uh, song counter jumps up to 90. We've hit 90 theme song appearances. We didn't get one last week for the yeah. first time in like eight episodes. It was an inconsensual henshin. Yeah. An inconsensual um, henshin, if you will. An inconsensual. That's, that's what they call it in the law of court. I fucking hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I just heard it ping ponging back and forth and <laughs> each, each time a clump of brain cells die. <laughs> if I could, you only have like 40 of those left. No, dude. man. If I could the get amygdala a good, start and go. If I could get a good shot from last week of Mantix hitting the kids and making them transform, that would be a great meme, but a horrible meme. Except it's me yeah. and my Twitter would love it. Goes <laughs> <laughs> so kids transform. Oh, Wolfie's like, uh, fuck, and runs away because uh, <laughs> he doesn't worst. actually want to fight. No, he really yeah. just genuinely goes, shit. <laughs> yeah. Just gets the fuck out. There's been like, what, what, there were like three times last season where we swore we heard Wolfie go, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I'm not confident it didn't happen. Uh, so they transform, like, Wolfie runs that. away, <laughs> and goes, Super yeah. Vylor is sneaking down in the cellar trying to find the sword. And while the kids are fighting uh, the Mantrons upstairs, uh, he is like harassing, uh, Super Vylor is harassing Little Ghoul to like convince her to tell him where the sword is. She thinks that she's like lost him in the maze of the catacombs. And uh, he just like walks up behind her, damn near stabs her with his trident <laughs> and is like, you're going to tell me where the sword is. And she like, doesn't pull her hood back and reveal the eldritch being that she no. is. She turns around and goes, I need to speak to your super by Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that one. Uh, uh, all right, now say it in her voice. <laughs> while, the, <laughs> while the kids are fighting uh, the Mantrons, uh, Centipix, the centipede Mantron, sneaks around well, I'm into pretty the... sure that's the movie theater I went to last <laughs> Centipix... Uh, sneaks around because uh, Flabber ran off in the into the uh, like study, and he goes, "Hey, blue thing!" And Flabber jumps so hard. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and God damn it! Uh, so then, Super Vilor comes right through the front. I don't. He went back out the cellar door instead of coming up from downstairs. Yeah. It's well, he had to make sure it was closed and locked and secured and everything. Yeah, he didn't yeah want cover it. your tracks. He didn't yes. want someone to break in and he steal their shit. He walks in the yeah. front door and politely <laughs> closes it slowly behind him and then reveals he has the astral back, huh? sword and is like, ha-ha, fuck you, and teleports away. The I got your copy like, of Godzilla 2000! <laughs> <laughs> What was I supposed to steal again? <laughs> it's signed by Jeff Bridges. He wasn't even in that movie. <laughs> I know! That's why it'll be so rare! Go to Comic-Con and doing a big Lebowski panel and you're like, would you sign my Godzilla 2000? Damn it. I feel like you'd do it. Oh, yeah, if he did that in real life, he'd do That's it. That's like... For $30. Here's DVD, still, man. Yeah. <laughs> God, you paid the 20 bucks. You paid the 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... Vylor gets back to the catacombs and he's telling Nukas, like, I present to you, the Super Vylor presents to you the Astral Sword. And <laughs> Nukas here. <laughs> That's the tune that it plays when you crack the uh, uh, Fabergé egg. egg. <laughs> so Nukas actually it's takes the sheath cream off egg. of the uh, Astral the Sword. the graduation song. <laughs> <Often> <laughs> circumstances. Uh, oh no, a Kinder Surprise Egg. Yeah, <laughs> banned in <laughs> <Cox are banned. laughs> Lucas actually takes the sheath off, which I think is the first time we've seen the actual it blade is. of the sword. I wasn't sure they were going to actually reveal right. that, uh, and they did. Now, what I was sure of was that the sword was going to be used like a sword at some point, which never it wasn't. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> uh, so Super Vilor turns to uh, uh, Scorpix and is like, "What would you think of that? Don't bring Stupid. a sword gun to a gun." Sword fight. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, my gun only stabs. Yeah. Stab you with my gun, you can shoot me with your sword. Yeah, that's what it's from Goodfellas. <laughs> when he had the gun, and he beats the guy with it. In the yeah. Driveway. Uh, so <laughs> it's only a. It's a Vylor is like <laughs> super cocky as super Vylor. He's like very like, I right, we don't need Robo Borg. I'll kick their asses myself. He's Quentin Tarantino during a 
a news interview. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> the kids back at Hillhurst are... Uh, Do you uh, lick the feet? I didn't think so. <laughs> I lick the feet. Don't fucking tell me about my movies. <laughs> <laughs> the Beetleborgs are like, okay, shit. We've got to find these guys. They've got the sword. Um, okay, we're going to summon the Sector Cycles. And we're going to get going. And it's like, uh, Wolfgang, this is your time. Go. So he like, go. <laughs> he summons a, uh, he summons a, a motorcycle cap and goggles and a, and a scarf onto Wolfgang and like literally kicks him off the front porch of Hillhurst onto the back of Joe's sector cycle bike. And they ride away. And that's, Wolfie's Wild Ride. Thanks for joining everybody. Yep. And, <laughs> yeah. and then <laughs> we've been the the next scene is the three Beetleborgs walking and Wolfgang on the ground sniffing to find the monsters, and they just teleport behind him. I don't know if that's coincidence like, I found them. <laughs> or if he somehow knew where they were going to tell. Yeah, it's like super unclear if he actually did it. Anything he, he runs away as soon as they appear. The That's kids, why I know he didn't. Do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids start fighting and uh, it's a pretty good fight. Like all of the mag or Magnavore, all of the Mantron fights have been pretty good. Like even the American footage stuff. It's partially because these suits are really good. Uh, but like this fight gets going. Wolfgang is like literally running down a road. I think we drove down in California. Like a little dirt it road. looked like it. It yeah. looks familiar. Alongside I mean, a little mountain. A lot of the roads around there kind of look the same. Yeah, we're going to say we were there. The uh, only reason I know what the roads similar. around here are from each other is because I've, like, grown up. Always been. I was going to say, it forever. was very similar to Missouri in that regard. Yeah, like. California was a lot of just, like, here's one main paved road. Gravel. I yeah. Just, <laughs> that place that isn't just, like, dense city that isn't, like, pretty much all the same stuff. Yeah. Um, so he's like running away and he like pulls out the astral coin, the lightning board coin from his mm. pocket. And he's like, <laughs> and he runs back. We're not allowed to say, uh, don't uncensor that. It, it's yeah, not, we, it's, we, um, yeah. He will be canceled. In don't hit closed captions for yeah. that line. And he's how we make the money. Work. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so he runs back. He's going to go help the trial. kids. <laughs> and as he's running back <laughs> to help the kids, uh, Super Vilor is holding up the astral sword. Wolfgang literally run, like jumps in front of him, grabs the sword, rolls down, pulls out the astral coin, throws it to Drew, and Drew goes, "What do you think, guys? Heads or tails?" And flips it in the air. We never get an answer, <laughs> and, and he, that's why this episode is bullshit. Low tier bronze. <laughs> uh, 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 fuck. What's what's lower than bronze? Um, ten. Uh, we were doing pewter. we had gallium was one we had a gallium, gallium yeah <laughs> yeah melted in your hand melts in your hand yeah uh so do they we... do a mercury one because if you have any open they... cuts it will kill you <laughs> <laughs> so they summon lightning borg and i'm gonna i'm gonna share my screen here for a second so you guys can see it oh no A sort of a, a bronze. Yeah, see that. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah, they can see that totally. That one's so much more bright orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, wait, what? Oh, he has a Show chest dark bubble. reactor again. Oh, Jarvis. Remember that, remember that thing he did for five <laughs> seconds that caused the dubstep attack? So, oh yeah, <laughs> he is the C cicada astral borg. You said right? Yeah, he's called uh, lightning borg because cicadas are too obscure. And there, there is. <laughs> There's what was the light? Do they fire know of the broods? Fire yeah. Firefly. The, yeah. Because they're called both lightning bugs and fireflies. Yeah. That's not confusing and at all. I won't say that they don't look similar. Like his design doesn't not look like a Cameron, lightning bug. Are you trying to say all Borgs look the same? <laughs> I just don't think he has anything particularly like stand out ish from the other.
I was gonna say I think I have both pulled up, but I didn't. Oh yeah, not we can't have oh, two our webcams. Our video production dude, is the best. So that's we can't have two webcams. I don't know how. I don't know how to make two webcams work. I guess I could share screen and have a second monitor and have yeah, it have and the that one's just up. playing the other web the other webcam. Yeah, one that's of them clever. we need to that's get. That's a workaround. Yeah, that. yeah, there we go. CCTV yeah, okay. Next time, maybe we'll do that. <laughs> um, so uh, here, I'll try to share this other screen so you guys can see what Fireborg looked like. Oh, now they get to see something we don't. Yeah. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll Perks of being anymore. across it's this fine. gigantic. you bitch <laughs> <laughs> um he doesn't have a distinctive voice like the other but uh, fireborn kind of had a they've just, all got that generic uh I have i'm a superhero except yeah. lightning borg who was sean connery yeah uh that but, was the yeah best. so far Who's fireborn and lightning borg yeah well fair enough uh fireborg and lightning borg both have kind of they might even be the same voice actor i'm not sure uh but yeah, for all i know yeah so they um Probably. See if I can get out of that and get over to Lightning Works actual page. It might actually say who his voice who his voice actor is, but it might not because uh, most of them were non-union, so they don't list the. Oh, there it is. Actor. So therefore, they didn't exist oh, as actor. people. <laughs> actor Richard Epcar. Epcar. Yeah, uh, he was the guy that. from Mexico that had the drug cartel. Pablo Epgar. Oh, he was Karato. He was Karato in season one in the oh. Comic Con episode. Jan person. Who the fuck's Wingar? Uh, he was the other They're one that, that was there with Karato. That, uh, Stuart from the Beavis Silver and One, Lakes. I think. <laughs> no, Wingar was the villain that episode. It was the weird. Um, uh... You know, you can click on the name and it I shows a picture to, of it. Though. Right? I was like, that's what I thought. He Why? Did, you're like, that's admitting that. defeat. <laughs> We want this to be an hour, but I'm going to do nothing to accept <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. It was like the throwaway monster that Jan person defeated. He oh, looks... convention dimension. That's yeah. why I don't uh, remember him. Yeah. Okay. yeah. One of the, like, he has the predator fun mouth. but throwaway episodes. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Richard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, what was that about Raiden and Mortal Kombat? I can't see my mouse. There it is. Raiden's pecs are based off of his. Richard also portrayed Raiden in Mortal Kombat X and Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat 11. 11. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Cool. That's, that's, yeah, that's notable that's trivia. Cool. That's yeah. actually cool, yeah. <laughs> that's the first very good time games. in like two years we got something out of this damn wiki that was out actually usable. Yeah, other no, than it said they were a man or woman. They had blood and pooped. <laughs> <laughs> so um Lightning War gets a pretty Shit decent fight. Hard. He's got two dual all best, swords. They're all dead. Um and he gets the, the fight choreography both on the American footage and the Japanese footage is pretty decent in my opinion it's better on the last Japanese, few so. yeah yeah and i think we get a bit more japanese footage in these yes. fight scenes than we have in the past few episodes yeah absolutely and we did, he has which I'm okay a with. Uh, it's better yeah <laughs> he has like a uh, it's called the astral cannon but it's like a sonic attack so like the wings on it's his a chest gun. it's a fucking yes. subwoofer that's in his chest with two little tweeters on his pecs he's got two four. more tweeters oh, okay. on the like the things oh, coming up ooh, off he's of his got shoulders. six and he's then, oh, yeah, he's got two more on his shoulder. Paul he's Bizarre. got eight. He's got two underneath on his ribs. Man, my dad should have built this guy a box. Yeah, <laughs> he's got full surround sound. Surprised baby. he doesn't have a fucking Kenwood like head unit. You know, I I'm surprised he didn't like take off a mask well, and reveal a ninth speaker on his or a tenth speaker it, on his mouth. Yeah. It, <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Looks like a samurai mated with a stereo shop, like a car stereo. I I really like it because it's a like having a sound attack makes a lot of sense for a cicada character. Yeah, well, Saints Row did it first. Yeah, Cameron, why doesn't your cicada character have sound? Why does God have a sound? He technically does, but it just doesn't look like a speaker. 
You should. He makes a cicada have... noise with his mouth, and it's so annoying. <laughs> the enemy's just it's himself. just Connor on more. Oh wait, well, I'm not gonna make that noise. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know the noise. Yeah. So you should have just stolen a spider punk that uses guitar. Oh yeah, I thought about it with a violin, but I never, I never dove into it. Yeah, I, that's why I didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why you should have. I know. You're 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 a, you're an independent toku. Like I that's know. the whole shtick. Yeah, immortal red fox known for not doing a single thing any other toku has <laughs> ever done before ever. <laughs> Definitely not the entire premise. We love you, Matt. <laughs> um, that reminds me when. Well, I'll probably show you guys tomorrow. But I have some new indie Toku stuff. To show you like, yeah, whenever you guys come over for Christmas Eve tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I know we don't have our own families. Or anything. <laughs> no, absolutely. Not. Uh, so yeah, he has this like Sonic attack, but in the at least in the Beetleborgs footage, I'm really curious what the B Fighter footage is. If it's like a, <laughs> if it's a cicada noise or if it's music, because this is just dubstep in '96 or '98. It's, it's trap remixes. Yeah, <laughs> and it's uh, filthy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the like uh, sonic boom thing like resonating. The shock his, wave yeah. going out. Yeah, um, it's this is just cool. sound wave. Yeah, this just stole this from Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, that was um, like ten years before this. <laughs> yeah. So. In uh, in B Fighter Kabuto, he's called uh, B Fighter Min, and the so the the like character who turns into the B Fighter, his name, like the civilian's name, is Min, but a like the uh, Japanese name for cicadas is an onomatopoeia, and it's Min Min Zemi. Because it's the because noise that's the make. noise they yeah. make. So naming the character Min and then having him turn into B Fighter Min and he turns into a B Fighter themed after a Min Min Zemi. Which hey. and then Cameron's balls exploded. <laughs> <laughs> the King of the Hill cicadas. Uh, King of the Hill taught me that Min is a woman's name in Laos. <laughs> so is that Chinese or Japanese? No, nope. it's <laughs> Laotian. Laos. <laughs> We're from La we're Laotian. We're from Laos. So was that Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Lightning Borg. Um, I had my I wrote in my notes, Lightning Borg, best Borg. Um, that's just my opinion. All so right, far. cool. I like yeah. it when he writes little notes to himself. <laughs> he writes the notes for us, and then he writes little notes to himself. <laughs> I like. It. I didn't think one about of those. This. I think says, "Hey, I love your sweater." You. <laughs> <laughs> he drew a little smiley face. At you. My wife. Got, my sparkles. wife got me this today for an early Christmas gift. It says, "I see you," or "He sees you when he, when you're drinking." It says, "I see you." Uh, when <laughs> <laughs> I'm having mead. He knows <laughs> when you masturbate. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the kids are uh, fighting Vylor while. Uh, uh, Lightning Borg is uh, fighting the Mantrons. The Mantrons kind of fuck off because they're like, this is Vi Super Vylor's fight. <laughs> More he's dumb. so yeah. he's got this. You fucked this up. You've made the bed sleep in it. <laughs> yeah. We'll they be over here Mantrons, not getting our asses kicked. The Mantrons kicked. didn't give them a chance to one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Cicada dubstep attack. Vylor loses his super armor pieces. Oh, they like everyone shatter has away. Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and those like weird finger lights. Someone's wearing a diaper. Yeah, the little, uh, <laughs> oh, the damn little... it. I just touched the mic with my pinky. Now we're all guilty. <laughs> That's how it works. To the gulag. I say we <laughs> sacrifice him. Um, so... I say we sacrifice me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, Lightning Borg summons the um, the astral decks. And what, what this actually is, they don't explain it yeah. here. But what the toy is and what it is in B-Fighter Kabuto. It catalogs all of the Pokemon. I mean, Borgs. I mean, entire... so <laughs> it actually, it's like a storage thing where you put all of their chips in it, all their data cards. Yeah, uh, they go sour cream and onion, uh, all of them. barbecue, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Yep. The nacho objectively cheese, pickle, best. Nacho cheese. Yeah, pizza. Actually, dill pickle. Yeah, okay, you're salt. going really weird <laughs> with your flavors, but yeah. Sorry. Xbox cheeseburger. Like Xbox? I think that was Did you one say Xbox one. cheeseburger just now? I think it was one. Is it <laughs> Xbox <laughs> cheese? <laughs> no, that's one of the I'm new commands. For help. <laughs> that's one of the new commands your connect is driving. It's hooked up directly to McDonald's. So he's sitting there and he's like, Xbox hamburger. Ordering hamburgers. <laughs> I've, been, oh, I've, hamburgers. I've been ordering too many uh, Mr. Beast 
burgers. Mr. Like, Beast like, burgers, yeah. <laughs> I, still, I would too if they came without mayo. I still haven't ordered anything from them because they're so goddamn expensive. For yeah, I'm not going Mr. to. Oh yeah, it's like twelve bucks. I'm not going to. So I'm confident I, they're bad. Well, they look like, like smash burgers, which are really easy because that means you don't have to worry about them being cooked. Because if they're cooked on the outside, they're cooked on the inside yep. because they're basically the same surface. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you know the sign yeah. of a good burger. <laughs> you know, like, burgers on crisp. I actually like smash burgers, but no, what I you're supposed too. to do is put like I, I two do, or three. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they gotta be like a triple cheese in between. Yeah. Uh, so closer to Winstead's. The uh, the astral decks and the uh, like the astral blaster. All all of the weapons. So the um, fireborge weapon and dragonborg weapon. All the things that they have in the last two episodes bequeathed to the beetleborgs combine onto their laser blaster. <laughs> To become the astral blaster. And what did you say it was oh. the erector set? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just a giant erector set of weapons. They just Lego together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which uh, it's all arbitrarily named. I feel like there, there's oh, no yeah. real reason. Like it doesn't feel like. No. All right, this is the thing because of the way it, it is. It's it like, kind of sucks because this like, is the shooter, and this is the <laughs> Mick shooter duder, and this is the Mick shooty duty, and this is the duder shooter duder. Samuel Colt designing the revolver. <laughs> <laughs> 1836. This is your shooter. That's your Mick shooter shooter. <laughs> and then there's the shooter cylinder. <laughs> I think that's so, canon and supernatural. I think the, the so the dragonfly thing was like its own gun. And they made the lightning or the, the fireborg thing its own gun, even later. though it's not. They like in the American footage, they actually used it like its own Absolute gun. Props. <laughs> but the it sucks because lightning borgs, uh, the astral decks that he gives them, it's nothing. He just they, it only does anything when it's combined with everything else. Yeah, it's basically just him saying the words, put it together now. Yeah. Now put it together now. Uh huh. Now put it together now. And all uh -huh. it does, it doesn't even <laughs> kill Vylor. Like it doesn't defeat him. It just defeats Super Vylor. Yeah. It just uh, knocks his uh, knocks uh, armor uh, off. Knocks him back into yeah. Vylor. And he's like, damn it. Yeah. He goes back <laughs> home. I said, no. What a it really does. It, well, they don't even have it, to finish it, the fight. They knock it off and he goes, Damn it. Fuck. And then just like, what goes on? Hey, hey you played too rough. I'm going home. <laughs> Guys, you broke my thing. <laughs> what did we say? It, it, it was like a, uh, they power washed the armor off of the yeah, yeah. Or... yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, power like, it's, it's, it's a stream of energy that like waves uh -huh. across him and the armor fades away as it. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Vylor, we've got the turbo yeah. nozzle. It's like if you're playing as kids and your buddy has like a laser tag vest. Yes. And you fuck up and then you like. You're like, this is going to be hilarious. You go to spray him with the hose or something, and it breaks it. And he's like, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> That's why I'm not invited Man. to the laser tag arenas anymore. <laughs> I wish my toys were just, like, sprayed with hoses. It was all like, hey, as soon as you turn your back, we're stealing it and leaving you forever. I am. Or uh, we're smashing it into a million pieces. Do you remember those, uh, those like, really big, like, disc like frisbee things it was like aluminum you can order them on tv foil almost a bit yeah yeah, the, was, the UFO the things. yeah i had one of those <laughs> and i was over at your old apartments once when i was a kid and uh we were going out you know there's that field between uh the I, the church yeah, yeah. and the yeah. apartment complex i used to get paid <laughs> 10 bucks to clean up the garbage in that field i uh i i handed that my first job ufo disc thing to one of my friends and i was like all right, man, give it a go. And he went, all right, and fucking, whoo, and it went all the way across that entire field. And we were like, oh, shit. <laughs> and it went all the way through and got stuck at the top of, like, a 50-foot tall tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, huh. <laughs> he goes, I am so sorry. I was like, I got that yesterday. <laughs> You know what's wild? It costs twenty five dollars. There is a non zero chance that I saw that at one point. And went, huh. <laughs> that happened in like two thousand seven or something. I mean, I spent almost my entire possible. life in that yeah. side of town. It's entirely possible it was still up there when I was driving you guys to high school. <laughs> It was so funny. It was the first time I brought it outside, and it's my friend, and he just went into the stress here. He was like, um, I'm sorry. I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Vylor is like, fuck this and goes back. 
when he gets back to the catacombs, um, the, we didn't mention this earlier, but the promise in exchange for creating a super form for Vylor, uh, what less fortunes wanted in exchange was a new uh, drafting table, a new drawing table. Right. He gets back, <laughs> and you criticized, and I, I think I think he could have asked for more. Extremely reasonable request. It was it was so, like I would reasonable. be like, can I get like better pencils <laughs> i was joking the moment he he said, yeah, i want a better easel amazing. or whatever he's like all right we're going to home depot we're gonna spend five bucks on some mdf and screws <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, then he, gets, he gets back and vylor just smashes his existing drawing table like it was less's fault that vylor fucked up his own super form you piece oh. of shit that's like the one thing you think that whenever he drew them considering they that he kind of dictates the terms of their existence yeah. that he could be like and also, they don't blame me for the bullshit. <laughs> that ain't my fault. There's a sign on the back of the armor that says, not Les's fault. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, but you signed the liability agreement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so back at Hillhurst, Lightning Borg is talking to the kids and he's like running down. He's like, okay, so they have all the Mantron coins. We now have all of the Astral Borg coins, but we don't know where they are in Hillhurst. And the kids are like, yeah, that's the problem. And he's like, all right, well, I think we can work with this. And then Wolfgang and, and Feng and uh, Mums walk in. And Wolfgang's like, hey, here, like, gives them the lightning bolt hey, coin. He's hey. like, you can just have this. He's like, oh, okay. And then he goes to, like, uh, Fangula says something and starts to walk away. And Wolfgang pickpockets him. But, yeah. like, he, he picked up the slide of paw perk early on yeah. in his skill tree. And so he snags, the, the apparently Fangula had the Dragon Borg coin, which, like, I assume the kids just still had. I don't remember yeah. Fangula ever, like, well, snagging that. the end of the last episode, they were, Three like, were still missing. Were, three right. were missing, I thought. Three yeah. were missing? They had five, and three were missing. Okay. So the only <laughs> one we haven't seen so far is, I don't know what they actually call the coin. The character... Probably something politically incorrect. It's a Kennedy well, half The dollar. character's <laughs> name is Lady Borg. I assume she's in next week's episode, oh. but it's a butterfly. And it's they, actually a trans uh, man that they just keep dead naming. It's definitely a dude in the suit. I'm sure of that. But uh, uh, Rita Repulsa's voice actress is oh, yeah. Lady Borg. Voiced so. by Jason Manzoukas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so um, Fangula and, and Frankie and, and Mums don't believe that Wolfie was the hero, that he helped save the day. And Lightning Borg goes, actually, I was there. I can tell you exactly what happened. And Drew just, like, smacks him on the back and is like, uh, actually, yes, yes, Wolfie saved the day. We couldn't have done it without him. And Lightning Borg's like, the fuck are you talking? I saved the day. And, like, <laughs> like starts, to, shit. starts to stop <laughs> him. So and Drew's just like, no, 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 no. Let him have this one. And the monsters are all like, oh, like, yeah, our buddy did it. Like, it's a really good wolfie <laughs> moment. Like heroes do. Lightning Borg yeah. goes, fuck that. <laughs> this was a Tuesday for me. <laughs> if this was Dragon Borg, he would have just spilled the beans. Or, as was implied from last episode, all of them are off doing greater things than that. Yeah. probably. So it kind of fits into our They're head the canon. guardians of the fucking galaxy. <laughs> I think just like... America, at least, maybe the entire Earth, because remember our headcanon of Charterville, or... Yeah? Yeah, what, Charterville. Char the entire Charterville. country like, has fallen yeah, except for Charterville. This is the Charterville. only place that's, <laughs> yeah. that's still sustaining yeah. itself because it has the Beetleborgs, and everywhere else has fallen to variations of, like, the Beetleborgs Disarray villains. Defeat. Yeah. The Magnivores decimated most of the world. Uh -huh. Nucus and the Crustaceans are just picking up the pieces yeah, to what still general, take, What general take do you power. think is in charge of, like, Missouri? This or three, probably. Well, mm -hmm. I was going to say Horabel, and that's where she spends most of her time because we don't see her every episode. Yeah. I was trying to think if there was another character floating around that we don't see very often, but there's not she's, really. She's you in know, virtue show. from the Marvel comics. Oh, I haven't seen her once in this show. What the <laughs> hell's up with that? Right? Surely the deal with Fox Kids worked out that crossover. Yeah. Uh, Especially so, a character that was created in like 2007 or something. Absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Wolfie picks picks Fang's pocket, gives the kids the Dragon Borg coin, and uh, that's kind of the end of the episode. Yeah. The uh, we get the um, the like comic okay. panel that the episode ends on is uh, the uh, 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 Lightning Borg and the kids laughing, mm -hmm. and the end credit scene is completely well, basically unrelated to this episode. For the first time in a while, yeah. 
it most of them have been the mon- special ones. Yeah. Most of them have been done. It's all the monsters episodes, in a nice. uh, potato sack race. Oh, yeah. Uh, They've and, been some of the <laughs> objectively best parts. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it's weird that this one isn't related, but, I like, it's fine. Like, Wolfie's predominantly in it. He wins the potato sack race. Uh, Frankie holds up some caution tape. And Which Wolfie makes runs sense. Into As it. we've seen before, he's got the maddest tops. Yeah. Absolutely. And the finest malt. Too much. Just the best beers. <laughs> so it's not all IPAs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. He said, oh, you should try IPA. a site around the right around November. And really <laughs> we have a couple of responsibilities. No, no! I know it's the first no. time doing this live. No, you uh, see, I, like, I know, but I said an hour. And, and as of eleven thirty, I am devoid of responsibility, kind sir. So uh, I think that's in the that great works. words of Thomas Jefferson, piss off. <laughs> My favorite part is that it's not eleven thirty, and this is a live episode, so they know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he no, he just means that no, since eleven thirty, he has no, no responsibility. Yes, I, that's when uh, I got off work. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah sure, half, half days. I go in at seven thirty. He goes into. Oh, uh, okay. Months. Yeah, no fair. Yeah, uh, I'm a hardworking American, unlike you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I read comics. You have an eight-hour work day. <laughs> so, um, what do you guys want to do first? Do you want to rate the? Oh, yeah. So do I. Do you want to rate the episode, or I think we should put Super Violet no. specifically on the Monster Menagerie list since we're not. Gonna yeah, see we've it done that before. Yeah, we did that with Super Ma- with yeah. Super uh, yes. uh, uh, Typhus. Typhus, yeah. And super, and super typhus, mega typhus. I don't remember what they call. Well, uh, Noxic got a super. And, and, and I was Noxic's say, yeah. brother. No, Noxic's yeah. little brother. That yeah. was it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what do you want to do? You want to put uh, Super Vilor on the Monster Menagerie sure. first, or rate the episode first? Want you to choose. We didn't either. have we didn't have a Monster of the Week we, last we week. We haven't had we? a Monster for like two or three weeks. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's put him on there. Let's, let's do put him on first. there. Okay. So, uh, since we're live, I'm going to do a quick read through about eighteen. We have 18 <laughs> monsters on the Monster Menagerie. And the viewer count just dropped to zero. <laughs> <laughs> TJ uh, Steve's, has... Steve's on. Hi, Steve. Hi, oh, hey, Steve. <laughs> I, know, I know this list is going to... That's the one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking pad. Here I am I, like an ass. I know this is going to mean nothing to 90% of the people who are watching this because we have some uh, people who watch this who don't, aren't familiar with the show. But, Ooh, randos. Um, How are you doing? I'm going to run from uh, top to bottom, from 1 to 18. And I'm just going to read through real quick. You guys obviously will know um if we you literally every episode ask for a recap because we do not know do you i know fucking any of these <laughs> you'll recognize a couple i know you will fire cast one of them right so okay the amp- uh, i remember joe st- average man <laughs> still up at the top uh number one joe average man uh number <laughs> number two changeling number three ruthless number four el scorpio number five hagfish number six aqua lungs number seven monster fangula Number eight, uh, Emily, Seed of Evil. Number nine, Shellator. Number 10, Torchmouth. Number 11, Brain Sucker. Number 12, Ultra Vulture. Uh, number 13, Ultimate Conqueror. Number 14, Fernzilla. Number 15, Triple Saurus Rex. Number 16, Piranha Khan. Number 17, Monster Smasher. And number 18, Mole Monster. What was the one above Ultimate Warrior? Uh, Ultra Vulture. <clears throat> Did we like I could all? put it around there. I didn't I remember like Ultra us, Vulture. I remember I us think tolerating that might be Ultra the, Vulture. That might be like the tipping point of where like like because I I liked Super <clears throat> Super Vilor. Yeah, I almost called him uh, Typhus. So he was all right. He was I, not terribly yeah, strong. Yeah, but he though. also didn't do anything. He was also like, pressure really washed up. away. <laughs> yeah. Like... Oh, TJ says he needs to. I need to get his other camera so I can have 4K goodness. Ooh, yeah, dude. we'll get there. Yes. I promise. It's on my to do um, list for upgrades for 2022. I mean, considering my display on my laptop can show like that HDRI or whatever, like oh, ultra yeah. high def super high screen. I, I have something I, I can watch ooh. things that look really good. I, I have saw a nicer a webcam at video work. of Costa Rica that knocked my socks off. <laughs> It was like I was there touching all five the minutes of an episode of Survivor Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I so you guys said you think somewhere above Ultra Vulture, Brain Sucker yeah. is right above yeah, Ultra Vulture right see, now. That's above you, Brain Sucker, you remember no, Brain Sucker, I right? Disagree. Really? I think vaguely? right below him because I think Brain Sucker actually showed a little bit more interesting and like he did stuff. He, he lived longer. <laughs> that's true. He lived longer. He, he, he had all that mimicry. Torchmouth right? is right above. 
brain sucker. Torchmouth he was the Yeah, because yeah. he was like the, uh, the we, we yeah. had joy in that. The slug we hats didn't get from as much joy. Out of, so you uh, think right between brain sucker and ultra vulture, the new number twelve? Yeah, that's I'm fine with I, that. I think that's fair. Uh, so the new number twelve is so Super Vilor. Next door. <laughs> My favorite part is whenever we tried to decide where to put something, you and I essentially decide, and then Cameron either goes no or yes. <laughs> it has to run by. The, it has when to run by the panel. Ever said no. It has to run by the panel, and then Cameron approves it, and Cameron always approves it. <laughs> I think for, there's so been a couple times you guys have wanted to put somebody dead last, and I've said. Are you sure? Because he's better than There's been maybe one time where we've said to put something somewhere and you went, fuck no. (laughs) Flabber dead last. And I bet it was Shellator, the trilobite monster. (laughs) I I bet I can tell you I think because I wanted to put it higher and you were like, absolutely not. And I like trilobites. I was very upset with Shellator. He very, he disappointed me. Not he misrepresented Cambrian enough. Yeah, he misrepresented Both spiritually, the entire Cambrian. emotionally, and physically. Okay, yes. so our new number twelve out of nineteen monsters on the metallic monster menagerie super Vilor. is super viable. Okay, uh, Woo, okay above that. Uh, yeah, above Ultra Vulture. Okay. Well, um, and on now to the we have responsibility. To, we have to rate the episode on a scale of bronze, silver, or gold. I'm thinking silver. That was what I was thinking. Um, did we? What did we give I'm last biased. Week? I, we gave last week another high I, bronze, didn't we? We give last week. We, we gave, we gave the last few. It's been a lot of silvers and bronze, a lot of bronzes. I, I don't think it we hasn't made, been we that made... many bronzes as it should have been. That's true. in my opinion. I like we, I like lightning been putting them pretty high. Well, you hate everything, you grumpy grumpy. I, <laughs> I mean, I, what happened this episode? So I'm biased. We got dubstep gun. I I like lightning Morgan and dubstep gun. We we got a new weapon. That I, was uh, only necessary to take care of the, a, a new thing toy that we'll to sell. Never see again. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a cool concept. Yeah, they wanted kept, to... unlike something that was easy enough to throw away. This one shouldn't have been. That's true. We did get his uh, supersonic nipple boosters, um, but like I I what? like when the like the general monsters like Horabel and Vylor and, and Typhus. Yeah. I like when they get super forms. I think that that's a thing that we don't see as it's often. It's fun. Yeah, it's a. So fun we haven't thing. seen this at this this season at all. We're almost done with the season. We've not I would seen count this. it as development. For yeah, like and like Vi- it sucks we didn't see Horabel, but Vylor being pissed off that the Mantrons are taking the limelight mm-hmm. in in and like that echoing that this exact thing happened with Shadowborg and the and the Magnavores during the Shadowborg saga it is compelling it's games like it it, it's fine it's a good parallel to season one i wish i wish someone i wish one of the kids would have been like oh yeah back with shadowborg this happened i will say that i liked this episode enough to not put it at bronze i would be okay if we put it at high bronze i wouldn't fight it but i'd like to put it at lower to mid i'll compromise at a mid gallium I need to re- uh, remind myself of my moles hardness scale so that I can remember what minerals. Gallium's the one that which... melts in your goddamn hand. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, diamonds right below that. I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I I mean just because, just because fuck the beers. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a like I'll concede a silver. It's it's perfectly mid. Like I I think this is exactly what we would expect from this like saga of episodes what would be between bronze and silver brass is yeah. brass better than bronze is brass, better? brass is nicer than bronze right well see or the is thing it? is they both have their purposes so it's like yeah. hard to compare the two but like would copper be brass between also, them or below brass get the periodic table up here <laughs> jamie pull the periodic well, table up brass is an element <laughs> pull it up anyway don't That's let me so look weird. stupid pull it up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um so <laughs> Help yeah. me take care of the body. Are, are we cool with it being a silver? <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll concede a silver. Okay. That's uh, something that's missing from this wallet, though. This is the first wallet I've had in over a decade that doesn't have what, that gallium. Po- it doesn't have the pocket. Oh, you don't have table the table of elements. Oh. Uh, for some, considering I was uh, originally going to school for chemical engineering. Hey, I had in my wallet for four years a uh, basically a scale. It was the size of a business card, but it was a scale. Because you're a I, drug dealer. I, yeah. I got it in my. Uh, uh, I got it in my. One of my geology smuggling muriatic acid home so much. <laughs> one, of my, one of my geology classes, they gave it out to everybody, and it was a it's a little 
scale and you can hold it up and it had millimeters and inches and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. And if you I had it in my wallet for years and I lost it. Elements make math. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I just tattooed Professor, my I had entire class, arm did get fired. every measurement known to man. Adam Savage has. Have you seen his tattoo? Yeah. He has, he has, his a, his a, uh, he has, an, he has a ruler, uh, yeah. doesn't he, as well? Uh, yeah. It's, it's a, in a, in a, a like square he has something on his fingers too that ties in, doesn't it? I think he just has it on his it's arm, not, but it's okay. like squared He's off at the end of his wrist. Like a like a millimeter scale or something and on the then inside of He a has like a regular ruler that goes up his arm. Yeah, or something like that. it's really so cool. he's got imperial and metric. Yes, which is <laughs> ironic like because like table. he's probably one of those people that like eyeballs it close enough. And I mean, obviously, oh for, for sure, precise machine. Yeah. Measures. I've seen. Yeah, I've come measures. over to so his place just, enough. Like, he just got a new mill. Yeah, like, if you're I using your arm too. as a thing, you that's probably for, eyeball that's, it as well. I, I think what he's always said is like that's for like in the wild when you're like because obviously it's not going to be accurate. It's on your skin. Your skin no. changes. You no, lose he skin, does it when he's around stuff. people because he's like, hey, check this out. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's Let's see how small your cock is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me pull my finger out for this. <laughs> <laughs> he goes <laughs> the, the millimeter pinky. Yeah. Um. Okay, so there's Nanometers. one other thing. Um, you guys have Christmas gifts. Oh, uh, oh, we're doing that for the. We're gonna do it again, like we did last year. Okay. Except next, this I time guess. we have visuals. Um, so, so uh, oh, these, yeah, we do have I, visuals I gave, this year. I gave Aaron his earlier today, but uh, these oh, were these yeah, were bought okay. with Beetle Bros money. These, these, these were bought with our like T Public is, funds. Is this legal? This is the fraud we've been talking about. Oh, <laughs> insert the Shack meme. <laughs> Yeah, so these these were these were purchased with a variety of, of Beetleboro Beetle Bros funded. Uh, oh, so what endeavors. Cameron is saying is this was bought with your money, <laughs> brought to you in part by viewers like you. <laughs> PBS, PBS special. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I don't, you guys can open them at the same time or or go. Uh... Those guys. Okay, Nick, you're first. Okay, all right, bud. Oh. And I'll, what I, oh, uh, what Aaron got is the Borg Slayer oh. t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The metal. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's a rave, dude. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Go fucking nuts I didn't plan that with the dubstep thing, but I uh, <laughs> Kate, Katie picked that out specifically thinking, a cat would like this. <laughs> Surely Nick will enjoy this. And I don't know if she thought that she your cat would so like well. it or you would like it. She knows you too well. To <laughs> Are we going to get DMCA'd for that? <laughs> it's entirely possible. Oh, you replaced my toy. missing UFO. <laughs> <laughs> I, was that I that didn't explain it at all. It's very similar, no but it's specifically either. supposed to like oh, boomerang thank God. back. It just ate up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh man! We had to put it at your, <laughs> you at your age level. Years. Just <laughs> squeezed in there, man. Oh, it's got LEDs. <laughs> and I think finally, yes. It's the final present. I thought this was like an elf thing. <laughs> oh shit! Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of them. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, is that the right size? I still pulled it up, and I'm like, that's like a crop top. I know. I had, I had, I have to guess for shirt sizes always. Like with Aaron, at least I can ask his wife. Like with you guys, I, mean, I have to guess. You, we're I can always. The same I know. Size. I know. With you, I can assume my own. With Nick, I have to like guess somewhere between me and Aaron. Uh, it's a men's large normal. Yeah. Men's large. Men's I think that's a large. large. Will work. They'll usually shrink it when they get a washer. I can I, wear a large <laughs> if I've been in a happy relationship for about a year. I think that's a large. It's all those, it's all those stakes. What I actually want to do. That's probably honestly what it I, fucking was, dude. I haven't done it yet, but I want to get, I want to get each of us. Um, it was the Longhorn. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to get right. each of us that design, the, the white. Uh, basic look, the, the like blank. So we can look like a logo. cult whenever we go out together. Yes, but I want to oh, get it. In, yeah, like... we look like Scientologists. Yeah, <laughs> I want to get. Uh, All Nick... of us have been harassed by them at some point, anyway. <laughs> True, I actually get, not. Uh, Nick's in green. I'm somehow, you. yours in yours in red. Fuck you. Uh, mine in blue. Downtown. Uh, I got oh, yeah. I got to get you one in red and my, and me one in blue. Are they just the same things? No. Oh, okay. I was like, no. Every everybody got different stuff. Sex toy. Oh, blood hey. plug. Yeah. <laughs> That's also from Katie. That was also a, a Katie pick. That's... She got him a butt plug? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it, I I brought it up to her when we went shopping. She mentions it a lot. It's all right. Yeah. I still can't believe <laughs> I still can't believe that fucking picture I sent you guys, my buddy Ian, at that white elephant got the out? fucking toy yeah. shopper. He was sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> for like two hours. That's the second volume. 
I don't remember if I got you the first one for you did. Christmas it or is... for your birthday. Oh, sorry. Um, I think you got it for my birthday. I thought so too. They just released a second volume like last month or something. Oh, my favorite. I was hoping you hadn't bought it. Cat. No, for real. That's Rachel um, as the principal's daughter's cat. And oh. it's like really serious because he's uh, high up in the visitors. This is, I was looking to see. Oh, it's Animorphs. It yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. See, it's the Animorphs oh. graphics novel, which I I think the artist. Why? No, no, no. Writer for Hold that. on. Whoa, she's got sad eyes. <laughs> okay, so that's Rachel writing Melissa like, hey, sorry about everything. It was an anonymous letter, but she gives it the fucking Animorphs logo. <laughs> Rachel. Arti artistic uh, license there. Uh, I think the artist for that's going to be at Planet Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. So I, I get to have two things signed by him. Yeah, now. he uh, uh, he did an AMA on Reddit. I don't know if you ever read it, but I yeah, no, I I skimmed pay attention it almost every yeah. Uh, I don't does. know if you have read it. Looks at these two. No, I mean like specific words like, that can't be said live. I don't know if you read it. Uh. <laughs> I read it, spread it, and didn't and forget it. it. Oh damn it! That's fair. Wow. Your turtle, man. <laughs> <laughs> but Merry Christmas, guys! Thank you so much. Merry Christmas ha time. Happy Happy Yule. Although that was technically like twenty four hours ago. Right. I was, uh, uh, oh, did you do anything already, uh, yeah. right? druidic for the solstice? Did I, 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 yodel I, it I worked on my need is what I did for Yule. <laughs> Your ancestors made alcohol, are proud. Made alcohol, yeah, is it? I yeah. made booze. Uh, I've got two gallons of the mead Celts going are right like, now. All of lo from, lo from local honey, heaven. locally sourced apiaries. Um, and one is blackberry infused and the other one is just plain right now. Although I may put something, I may put some additional flavor aids in Michael it later. I don't special know. special stuff yeah flavor aids in it <laughs> don't drink the mean <laughs> <laughs> the cam town uh, massacre <laughs> it's like hey guys I made the mead he's <laughs> drink up why do you have spirit in the sky playing on loop <laughs> <laughs> are we all wearing white robes i don't understand yeah so it's katie fine. and i have been practicing some new traditions so. <laughs> it's the culmination put these on and take your fucking shoes off we've got 13 <laughs> episodes until that happens oh no uh <laughs> the end times yeah until you know the comet passes um that com that comment ain't coming back for another 50 years yeah i know <laughs> um that's all i've got for uh this week uh we there is time uh, is it tomorrow that the lc christmas episode airs is Should that be christmas day is it christmas day Saturday? christmas day okay yeah, yeah, you see, lce um, has a professional upload schedule they that do makes them talk. that's because the owner of time. our network is the technically head. we're on time. we're <laughs> only like i mean we're like 12 hours late because normally our episodes go up in the morning but Technically, we're on time. It's a Thursday. Our episodes go up on Thursday. Technically, on time is the best on time. It works. We could have done this. I, I could have done this yesterday. Would I have wanted to? Probably I could not, not have done it. <laughs> I mean, the I important thing it. is that I don't think it would have ever in any way changed the amount of viewers that we had gotten. No. <laughs> well, I also like was fairly certain that both of you guys at least had work off tomorrow, so it wouldn't yeah. be as big of a deal. Like I, ha I have, have work. Like It's a half day. It's fine. No, it's not even dad. happening. I also He's got to go dad. collect the butt plugs from their old office. Yes. Uh, yeah. I do. And distribute uh, them amongst white elephant Christmas. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but other than that, um, I sent out today, uh, like, I, I think like a dozen Christmas postcards with our, uh, I'm calling it the, the holidays oh, yeah. at Hillhurst design. Did you send John's? That we had made. I did send John's. Yeah. I saw that we had a couple friends and a, a couple he, uh, Project Louder. <laughs> Johnny uh, uh, he texted fellows. me the other day. All he said was, You best fucking believe the Beetle Bros are sending me a goddamn <laughs> I was like, Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I wish we could have signed it before you said it. Yeah, I should. I, I know. I thought about that, but I was Asshole. like, I, I want him to get there as soon as possible. <laughs> and uh, obviously, that's not going to work. John, you John's know, it's going to text me, go, What the fuck is this? And a picture of it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, No. <laughs> We're just trying to send you up to the spirit in the sky, John. Buddy. Go on to send you up. 20 Come years on. of friendship <laughs> evaporated. <laughs> I, Here, I, I will, heard uh, that man say things.
for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, it's still posted. If anybody wants a Beetle Bros postcard, uh, you can just screenshot it and print it off yourself. You can. I, it's not, it's an, not NFT. an NFT. I don't give a yep. shit. Yep. Um, yep. No, but... <laughs> don't write that to save my NFT. No. Uh, I, I've just been sending Bro. this out. It's the cost of a stamp. Oh, you know, it's it's whatever. It's just a, a, a nice little holiday gift from us to you. Um, so if you Next want year's is an a, NFT. Yes. <laughs> we're, you we're, gotta we're, pay us. We'll, we'll, fin we'll finish the season and then we're going hyper capitalist the whole way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I sent out like a, a dozen or more of these today. And if anybody signs up on our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, I've shared the Google Forms link. So you just have to share your, your address and stuff on there. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and then also, if you want to share your email address, um, I don't do it. Your IP address. <laughs> you have no idea who's going to be able to see that. Postal address. It. Entirely true. Social. Um, <laughs> those wacky three digits. If you on the want back to, I get three hundred emails of things that I don't know about that have yeah. nothing to do with. We really aren't going to have, but like Google Forms just automatically asks you to share your email address. We really don't have anything to share via email, so don't feel like you need to do that. Um, the only thing this information is going to be used for is for these postcards. We don't send other stuff out. We don't send offers out. We don't have we do not gift cards slide and into stuff. DMs. We don't. Yeah. Um, you slide into our DMs mostly. That's true, actually. We double dare promise. <laughs> double dare promise. Double dare, dare promise. promise. I promise on Nicktoons. <laughs> 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 we will not sell your information overseas. It's true. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's, I'll do it. You get I'll two fucking out of three. do it. <laughs> Give me um, your information. If you want have me to a pretty it. good price. <laughs> that design will be going up on Tee Public uh, tomorrow <laughs> on Christmas Eve, and it'll it'll stay up the whole time. But it'll be on sale when it goes Unlike up me. because that's how Tee Public works. So if you want that on a shirt or a poster or a print or whatever or a hoodie, uh, you can snag it on there. And then we've also got all oh, of I'm our. <laughs> All of our Magnaware monster designs from last season are on Tee Public now. So if you guys are looking for uh, maybe get yourself a Christmas gift, um, all of those designs are up there. I got a, a shirt for myself that has the Zoom Comics logo. I really enjoy it. Buy um, one of our shirts for your mom. She won't have any idea what it is. It'll be true. hilarious. You, yeah. Your grandmother will um, love the Typhus design. <laughs> I was uh, going to say Swamp I Scumoid. I think that Buy really means home for a lot of the grandma. Yeah. I do. You know the grandma. Hey, Kazal, you just said yeah. the grandkid. Oh, yeah, I'm the grandma. And it's like, ha, ha, that's an aquatic sexual predator. <laughs> we know. They don't know, but we know. Yeah. We know. Uh, Friends like, I head can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, we've got some other designs that may or may not be on the way uh, into. Those are the two options. Can someone. Yeah. Well, I don't know us, when I don't know when they'll be on the way, but they'll be there us, soon. Like, just a stitch together thing, and it's probably like hours long at this point. Of every, we need to keep moving along, so I'm gonna make a noise before we do that. Cameron does. So it's just an hour and a half long. <laughs> Of it's the end of the episode and Cameron's like, I want to go to bed. You can't just you can't discern <laughs> that from me and my cat making a noise. <laughs> That's Dude, actually, we actually, sit down and listen to it at one point. We do a react video to it, and we're like, That's cricket. That's cricket. That's, <laughs> That's I don't actually own a cat. That's just Cameron me. Cricket's a good game show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that, uh, I've been Cam. I have been Nick. And I've probably disappointed you greatly. <laughs> and we've been the Big Bad Beetle Rose. Ho, 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 hoes. Merry Christian Slater, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm so excited. Happy Yule, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Rajamon. Leave fairy. That's the Dennis Rajamon. Rajamon. Leave fairy today. <laughs> Solstice. Thank you guys for joining us for our uh, uh, more or less first. Like, From the bottom of our episode. boards, we thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll I I can promise we'll be back for more things like this. So stay tuned. Keep an eye on our social media and also on the Project Louder social media. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody at Project Louder. I know a handful of you guys are in the chat right now, Ooh. and we'll be watching uh, shortly <laughs> after 
as uh, Brody should be waking up, I think, approximately now. I have no fucking clue. Um, no, it's about uh, 5 yeah, p.m. for us. Yeah. <laughs> so have a good night, guys. Have, happy holidays. And good luck. See you guys.